What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Good to see you, brother. You too. And we're going. Johnny got into the building. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How are you, dude? What's new? How's life? I'm good, man. Uh, life's been good. You know what I'm saying? Just uh, working a lot, making new music, uh, working with a lot of cool artists. You know what I'm saying? Supporting other artists. Just uh, all around having a good experience, you know, doing new shit. I was, I was saying earlier before you got in here that you were like the... With the TDP, which by the way, I'm rocking some TDP, some old school sh uh, shirt right yeah. here. That was like that was like the fourth or yeah. fifth interview like I ever did was when uh, you were in the studio for that, which was a, a long time ago, a lot of fun. And you're someone that kind of yeah, like is always doing music, man. Always doing music. Yeah, it's been my life, dude. You know, it's been my life for a long time. And um, I mean, ever since... I think my very first concert I ever got to see, I was like eight years old. My dad took me to see Kiss and Ted Nugent. And I just wanted to be a rock star, dude, you know, ever what, since then. What made you want to play? Because you're primarily a drummer, correct? And kind of like more recently yeah. gotten into vocals? Yeah. I mean, I've done both forever. I just kind of was more like shy to do my vocals because I didn't know, you know, um, the best way to come out and do it. And I just kept experimenting <laughs> with different things, trying different things like metal vocals and singing. And I was really always shy about my singing. You know what I'm saying? Like the metal vocals, I wasn't really shy about because I'm a decent metal vocalist, but I was really always shy about coming out and actually just being a, a regular singer. You know, and I've been playing drums all my life, you know, so I can't even tell you how many years it's been so long. <laughs> I've I've probably seen seen you live in some form of another in, in a project at least ten to twelve times I would I would guess but let's talk about let's talk about Sad yeah. Truck why did you name the album Sad Truck I hear the beeping also well, in the background oh there's like a chirp chirp alarm. chirp yeah a little fire this thing I can't I've been trying to get this thing fixed forever dude it just and I've replaced the batteries whatever it, it just don't. Okay. Just don't fucking do it. But we'll Sad it. Truck is a culmination of a, a change in my life. You know, like I be, I changed my career path from like um, I took a break on music and stuff and turned into a truck driver. And in that process, it was really hard for me. And I started to lose a lot of things like music. And I had to watch all my friends doing shows, you know, like watching them on live. And um, it really hurt for a long time, and I was driving a lot. So, like, I started writing these songs, and then um, a lot of the songs that I wrote didn't even make make it to Sad Truck. Only about seven of them made it to Sad Truck. And um, the more recent ones, I had started to um, like my my marriage went downhill, and I, I'm I, I'm I'm going through a divorce. I'm sorry. And I feel like that was a part of me going through this change um, and giving up so much stuff, even though like, you know, I don't really want to get too much into that. You know, um, I will just say that it had a lot of fuel into my, into that album with where I was at as a truck driver. And I felt like people could relate to me because of how much sacrifice there is when you make these big changes and um, you give up so many other things to make sure that you're stable in your life. And, you know, and now I'm back to a point where I'm good. I'm my, my career is good. And now I want to keep like I took a break on music and I just can't get away from it. It's one of the only things that make me happy, you know, besides like my kids, obviously, my, you know, like my my new relationships really good. And like but music has always been something that has been like, you know, um, something that just like keeps me going. You know, like yeah. I lost my father. I wrote a song about losing my father. So I guess it's really just a lot of my experiences being like, like, I guess, like losing things and and experiencing it and being upset about things and then kind of 
kind of putting it to where I was at that point in time where I was writing this album, which was on the road. Like I said, watching all my friends play shows as, as, like the $20 profits, Mike storm, uh, fucking Desidera, you know what I'm saying? Like through the Oculus, like watching all of my friends, like continue to progress and do great. You know what I mean? And I was, I was doing great in my own aspect, but it wasn't like something that made me happy because money isn't something that like makes me happy. It's just something that we need, you know, <laughs> like kind of shit, I guess. That's where Sad Trek came from. There, I love the explanation. I'm sorry about the divorce, man, but I'm glad uh, you found a new partner that's making you happy and everything. That's awesome. Um, uh, what yeah. was it like? What was it like hanging with Debo? Oh shit, dude. He was cool. You know, he told me I was a rock star. He told all of us. He was like, "You guys are." He compared us to Sublime, and he okay. was like, "I remember there was a band that uh, we worked with. I worked with early on in my career. The dog tried to bite me." He was a Dalmatian. Uh, I can't remember the band's name. Uh, and I was like, Sublime. And he was like, yeah, you guys are like Sublime. You guys are going to be big like Sublime is. The, this and that. You know, and I kind of feel like, you know, it's sad, you know, Brad didn't get to enjoy the fruit. And it's cool that his son gets to enjoy the fruit. But Debo was cool. You know, he uh, he was he was cool and he was kind of cocky at the same time. Like, he called me fat. <laughs> I, I mean, I am fat. So I guess it, it's okay, but... <laughs> and he was like, "You ever?" You, he's like, "You ever? Uh, you ever heard of the gym?" I was like, "Damn, dog!" <laughs> he like, We're, you guys uh, paid him for the to, for the video appearance too, right? Yeah, he was like, yeah. whoa, we have yeah. to knock off ten percent of that fee, bro, for you keep dissing us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know, he was he was he. There was another guy there that was trying to like work us into this. Uh, into a uh, label, or not even a label, into like a con, like a an opportunity with um, I want to say it was with like Ice Cube or something like that, and um, it was messed up because like there was um, the one of the reasons that they were trying to make us, I guess they like they loved the way we sounded, they loved our drive, they loved, they loved what we were doing, but there was a um, like a, a catch and the catch was that we had to let Mike storm join the $20 profits. And at the time we were just like, Oh, we've had a rapper in the group. He's a good friend of ours, but that's just not like where we want to go. We're not, you know what I mean? Like type of the deal. And we had to walk away from that just because like, uh, so many people saw things so differently, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was, uh, it was crazy, crazy. That was, was ice crazy. cubes label that wanted that wanted that to do that deal. It was, yeah, it was like we were going to have this meeting or something that this, this one agent guy was trying to set up and there was like just certain things that were like not lining up for us. Mm -hmm. And so we, we all just decided not to do it, you know? And, oh, do, that's my dog. Shut up, Randy. Do you have, do you have a, a metal album? I don't think I've ever heard you release a metal, even though I see you jump on stage yeah. all the time. Yeah, I do. Sorry about my dog. Um, Daisy, be quiet. Like, like what I mean by metal, like we, we jam like some stuff from Thuggalo every now and then, and then some other stuff that has like yeah. a lot of screaming, but I mean like the full on band yeah. where like you're the front man. I think I do. I think I, yeah, I, I had a, I had an album I released. It was called Insane and it was like, I at least Thuggalo and Insane That's Insane Thuggalo. And it was for our old record label that uh, my buddy was running and he's actually passed away now. Um, his name was um, Josh. Uh, nappy J is what he went by and he ran he just had this little label he put me on it he was like yo let's uh let's just put your meet some of this music out and i had this band that i was working with at the time and they did all they pretty much made all the backtracks of like the metal and they're like we just want you to scream and sing on it and i'm not like like it was a good album you know and there's it's out there i think it's on youtube under insane or maybe even the, the enigma strain um but yeah, I have done things where like I've had metal behind me. I just haven't really released it as much. And he released it, but I I'm never able to find it. I don't know why he only put Thuggalo up. But again, he's <laughs> passed away now. Mm -hmm. You know, and it might be on YouTube, it might be out there, but yeah, I have probably about a ten I think it's a ten song album out there that has me doing metal screaming. And um it's more like if I had to compare it to like Trivium or uh Oh, cool. Like that kind of hardcore music. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. 
you know, and metal's always been a passion of mine, dude. Like, I'll always love metal, you know, like, metal's awesome. I support all the metal bands coming up right now, you know, Deep Within, Through the Oculus, Desidera, they're, you know, all of our homies and shit. And Definitely. I think it's a beautiful way to, like, really get that out there, you know. So, uh, do you, I mean, did, I have, you probably brought the hot sauce today. And we're like, what is going on with this right here? Ooh. What is going on, dude? I... That's the good shit. Yeah, you got the good, the good <laughs> stuff. The chili paste, the ground fresh oh, chili man, paste. This make your butthole hurt, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, Pilsner infused beer hot sauce. But you, you get the thing is, you get to pick the trivia topic, Johnny. I need to know oh, what what fuck. movie or TV show have you seen the most. Where if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's no way I stump you. But if I do stump you, and whether you get it right or wrong, I'm gonna do hot sauce. But if I stump you, you have to take a little a little bit of of uh, the paste. Okay, um, I'd say Breaking Bad, dude. Breaking Bad. Have you seen all the Better Call Sauls? Um, I haven't seen Eisenberg. The newer, the newer episodes. I think I've seen like three seasons. Okay. All right, give me just a second on some break, yeah. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad for sure. Who you said what? Well, uh, Chris Chris did production on on Sad Truck, right? Yes, yeah. Chris Gonzalez or uh, Chris Style Beats. He uh, he produced all of the tracks, uh, did all the all the uh, drums, every, pretty much everything on there. And I just sang on it and put and wrote to it pretty, you know. And then um, we have a, a entertainment thing going on. It's called Star, Star Castles Entertainment. That uh, it, I believe it was, it was a song from his father's uh, old band, Rock Fusion, um, and uh, I was like, Chris, let's start our own uh, little production company. You know, what I mean, because we were already working on my album, and uh, of course, Twenty Dollar Profits is going to be involved in it. And then we have G Hippie, who's also releasing on it. And then one guy who's, I'm pretty sure, is going to do it is uh, Broken English or Andrew English. He's going to be releasing his. Uh, Dave, his debut album on it, hopefully, too. So we're just pretty much a team of people who are like-minded and just trying to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, help each other and work together. I can dig that for sure. All right, let's do some trivia. Ooh. You got to pick. Let's go. You picked Breaking Bad. Start off with an bad. easy one. Well, it, it, I think this is somewhat an easy one. What country is right. Gus originally from? Chile. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Don't call. Said so. <laughs> Are you planning on dropping any any more music uh, in 2024? Yeah, yeah. I got a single I'm working on right now. I'm do. I'm talking to other artists about uh, doing more collaborations. You know, uh, and um, I have a single I'm working on right now, and. Uh, um, his name's Kage. He's I mean, he's a pretty big artist. It's more in the, the emo rap community because there's like a whole community of emo rappers, and I guess I kind of fall into that with my my genre. I don't look it, but I definitely sound it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, I gotta try one more trivia question because you seem like you know. So let me try one more. Bring it all. Breaking Bad. Now this is a hard one. This right. one hit wonder. Gail, Gail's doing karaoke and shows, um, it's on a tape, Hank shows to Walt. Oh. What is the song that oh, Gail no. is doing on karaoke? Uh, I want to say it's, uh, I want to say it's Sticks. No, it's not Sticks. Ah, oh, you got me on this one, dude. I, 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 I thought it was, uh. Mr. Right, we'll, it's not Mr. Roboto. We'll call it. I we'll call it a paid. stump. But if I tell you the artist, let's see. So it is officially a stump. But <laughs> it was a David Bowie song. A David Bowie song. Mm. Crowd control uh, to Major Tom. Yeah, I knew it was some. That's why I was like, it sticks or somebody like that because I know it was like around that kind of like feel, you know, but. Chili paste, it is. Enjoy the chili paste yeah. while while your mouth Brand is new. suffering. Yeah, while the, your mouth is suffering and burning, 
please plug and promote anything that you'd like. <laughs> I'm one for one. We should do one more. See who's, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Do you want to, <laughs> we got to end the tie? Okay, cool. cool. I can do that. I got to do a finger so you guys can see. Here's my finger. There you go. Full of chili paste. Ugh. Mm. I love this shit. I'm going to go off. Really to. garlicky. Makes me gassy. You know what I'm saying? I was really, I, I was thinking about doing, uh, I was thinking about doing food, uh, like review videos and do stuff it. like that soon too. You know what I'm saying? Like doing those, eat, I don't know about eating challenges because like, I don't know how they do that shit. I mean, I am a big guy, but I don't know if I can eat all that. I'll try. Probably lose. But I was thinking about doing something like that too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That shit was good. What any kind yeah, of food or or like, like any kind of food or uh, or always I'm, the same thing from spots. different places? I'm just thinking about like the spots around like like Apollo Burger and they got like a six pound burrito. Shout out, Daisy. <laughs> six pound burrito in Hesperia. They got like. Oh, just like places that have like kind of famous things, you know what I'm saying? Like challenges and stuff. You think you could do the, the six pound burrito? I'm going to try it. I think I could. If I fast for like a day and a half, maybe starve myself. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I could do it. Uh, you got to train for those things, man. Those things are not easy. Yeah, I know. I know. No, but I'm, work, I'm working on the last question. Up. I'm working on the last question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so while, while we're on the last question, everybody just check out Sad Truck. It just dropped on Spotify and everything else. I have a music video on YouTube for Sad Truck. Uh, I'm doing a lot of stuff on my Instagram. You guys can follow me at Johnny Carnage X underscore O. It's kind of like my little sign is the X O. You can see it right there at the top. You know, um, I appreciate everybody, and I, I just want everybody to enjoy my music and maybe it can, if it can help some people through some hard times. That's really what I like. My goal is with my music is to like help people that uh, are going through the same or similar experiences. Do you have any? Um, shout out to Star. I'm, I'm I didn't sorry, mean. Guys. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You go. Shout out. Uh, check out Star Castles Entertainment. G Hippie. Uh, Congest. Desatera. Twenty dollar profits. If I've left you out, I'm sorry. Uh, Doug Strange, the homie. I got so many damn homies that, that work with me and help me out. Oh, firing all fucking cylinders. Firing all cylinders. They're dope. <laughs> but yeah, that's I'm just shouting out all the homies. There's a lot of a lot of dope bands that you mentioned right now too. Final final yeah. trivia question because we're one one and one. Here we go. Uh, what yeah. color? What color is the infamous box cutter that Gus uses to slash Victor's throat? First color that comes to mind is green. That is correct. Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you take this one. Uh, yeah, I love Breaking Bad, dude. Walter White's my idol. You know, what I mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't want to cook meth, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the just movie? His, just his, his story. Um, the El Camino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, El Camino was pretty good. I mean, it was. I honestly don't think it's as good as the show, but it's pretty good. Better Call Saul is really good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love that spinoff. That's a great spinoff. I, can, I love it. Johnny, the last question, really I, the last question I want to ask you is, um, are you planning on taking your stand-up more serious and, and doing more more gigs out, about, out and about and kind of uh, seeing yeah. where, that, where that goes? I am. I am. Dude, I've been writing a lot of jokes. I've got a little booklet that I fill up with like jokes and stuff. And I really got started because obviously because of Kill Tony. And I've been watching that a lot and watching other comedians. And then I, I try my stand up sometimes. Like, I know you saw me try my stand up before. And I just keep on trying it, even if I bomb. Like, I tried it the other day as well. And I bombed 100%. Like, not one person laughed in the crowd. And I was like, this is, uh, <laughs> this is really rough. You know? Like, That's probably how all comedians crowd. start, though. That was like your first yeah, time doing yeah. it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've probably done it two times. And um, I'm going to the Kia Forum, and I'm going to put my name in the bag for Kill Tony. If I get up there, I'll be excited. You know what I'm saying? That's a, a huge huge thing. But if I don't, it's cool, too. Um, I just like I like making people laugh, you know, and I always have, actually, like, throughout my whole life. 
I've always been the person who is like cracking jokes and like doing things just to get a reaction out of people, a funny reaction kind of type of thing. Like you could ask anybody about me. I'm pretty bubbly in that sense. So I was like, you know, the, the shoe fits. It, looks, it sounds fun. It's a good hobby. I already like to write, you know, say about everything. Like I keep journals about everything. So might as well, you know, get in stand up and see, see what, it, you know, might be something that I like and I enjoy. And I have so far. I love writing jokes. I find everything funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, uh, good luck, dude. Uh, regarding the Kill Tony audition, I'm, I'm rooting for you. That's awesome. Uh, congrats on Sad yeah. Truck. Uh, the the song, one of the songs of G Hippie, uh, It Hurts, is actually one of our favorites here on the channel. We jammed that one a lot. Yeah. We, we really like that one. But, um, dude, yeah, looking cool. forward to the new single that you said is coming out a little bit later in the year. That's awesome. But uh, yeah. this this is fun, bro. Yeah. I, 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 it's always a good time hanging out with man. We've been buddies for a long time. Yeah, it is. Thanks, BG. This has been long overdue. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please support yeah. him. The man, the myth, the legend, Johnny Carnage. Hell yeah. I'm going to put this on YouTube, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll send you the link late tonight, and it'll, it'll drop uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, you got, the, you got it in your eye? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Cheers, brother. For sure.